are uh, discussing the group flagellata of this particular major part that is protozoan protists. So our kingdom is protista. In that kingdom we are talking about protozoan protists and among protozoan protists we are talking of zooflagellata. Zooflagellata means they have to have flagella and they are animal like protists. We have already discussed one. Let us take one more example. The second example that we are talking of is Leshmania donovani. This is the scientific name and it was discovered by two scientists Leshman and Donovan. <coughs> and that's how the organism was given the name Leshmania donovani. It is a flagellate diagenetic and dimorphic protist. Diagenetic means it completes its life cycle in two hosts. And these two hosts are one man that is in case of humans and in human beings it is found in blood capillaries especially of liver spleen and bone marrow so in these blood capillaries this pathogen is found the second host is commonly known as sand fly sand fly is a blood sucking insect and its scientific name is Phlebotemus argentipus and in case of this sand fly the pathogen is found in the salivary glands the life cycle is completed in these two hosts, humans and sand fly. Now, when we say dimorphic, dimorphic means it exists in two forms. Now, what are these two forms? Dimorphic forms, one is called the young and the other is known as the adult and the young stage and the adult stage, they look totally different from each other and that's why we call them dimorphic. The young one is little long and slightly spindle shaped. It has a basal granule from which a large flagellum arises. The nucleus and other structures are also present. So this is the young one. The adult is oval or little roundish, basal granule is there, nucleus is also present and the flagellum is only internal. So there is no external flagellum which is seen here. This internal flagellum is known as rhizoplast and this is the regular flagellum. Now what exactly happens when this pathogen is found in the blood capillaries? It results into a disease. The disease is known as Kala Azar or it is also known as Dum Dum Fever. In this, the symptom is enlargement of Visceral organs, enlargement of visceral organs like the same ones that is spleen, liver would take place like spleen and liver. So this is digenetic, dimorphic, flagellate. And it is a parasitic organism. It is found inside the body and it causes disease. Named after the scientist who actually discovered it. 
So this is about Leishmania donovani which comes into zoo flagellata. We'll talk about one more example and that is known as Trichonympha. Trichonympha is a multi-flagellate organism. It is multi-flagellate. That means it has many flagella and it is found as a symbiont in intestine of termites. Now when we use the word symbiont, that means there is a mutual benefit to both the organisms. So there is an advantage which trichonympha gets and an advantage which the termite would get. Now what happens for the termite? Termites, they feed on wood. Wood is nothing but cellulose. So this cellulose is digested into simple sugars with the help of an enzyme called cellulase. And this cellulase is secreted by this trichonympha. That means the advantage which is received by these termites is that they are able to digest cellulose. Because no animal can digest cellulose on its own. It has to have some symbiotic microbes. Those microbes could be bacteria or it could be a protozoan protist like trichonympha. So this is the benefit which is gained by the termite. Now what do these microbes get or what do these protists get? They get food, shelter from the termite. So both the partners, they are benefited and such a relationship is known as symbiotic relationship. So these are two more flagellates. Now in the next part, we'll take up two more flagellates, especially in this category that is zoo flagellates.